Hey guys, this is Sasha from Mobile Geeks and we are in northwestern Taipei to see some amazing new battery technology. We are at Prologium and what I would love to show you is definitely going to have a huge impact on all these devices in the future. You see a little roadmap of Prologium over here that goes on to 2016 and we're going to see a technology that will just definitely influence a future electric cars, future uh, heating clothes over here. We're going to talk about some smartwatches something like lighting clothes gonna be very interesting and definitely the traditional ones like ebooks, tablets, ultrabooks and so on. And to show you what those guys are really doing over here, um, let's move over here and you know what, let's just start with something very simple. So we have a MacBook Air over here and I'm gonna tell you a little bit um, about the technology that they're using right now. Right now we have lithium polymer batteries in a MacBook Air and due to its form factor and its size they're kind of putting these batteries on both sides of the trackpad which is kind of limiting the space in general for the engineers to set this up. Um, here's a battery from those guys over here and uh, as you can see it's also extending the overall space not only to both sides where the lithium polymer batteries are already but also underneath the keyboard in the future uh, they will be what will be possible to create ultrabooks or macbooks that are only 5.5 millimeter thin and by the way um, just to give you an idea where this is going, this is all flexible. So um, that was simple. Let's talk about something um, that's going to change the way we would use smartphones, for example. Let's take a look at this little cell here. So this is only one layer. They can stack it um, over each other. And just the first example is the sleeve here. This is a sleeve for, I think, a Galaxy S3. So they put like five or six layers, an additional 1300, 1400 milliampere hours into the sleeve. It's not thick, it's not heavy, but it gives you 60, 70% of extra battery life. Another cool thing is, think about smartwatch. We've seen this already on the presentation. Look at this little fellow over here. So this is going into a wristband of future smartwatches. So could you imagine this? Right now smartwatches are so limited because somehow they try to copy a smartphone and just kind of get it onto your wrist, right? With a full SOC, with a full display and everything, and also with the battery. With this new flexible technology, um, you get definitely going to bring smartwatches to the next level. What I also absolutely love, let me grab something else here. Ah, that's, that's a biggie here. Now look at this. This is a 2400 milliampere hour battery. At 3.7 volt, we are roughly scratching, what is it, 9 watts, almost 10 watts. Think about this in a jacket or in a backpack. You just have it somewhere over here, right? And you know what, the more, battery the more batteries I, I wear with me, um, the more battery life I'm getting and of course the more computing power and performance I will be able to get because I'm gonna get some or I will use some different devices instead of all these super ultra low voltage ones I'm gonna I can easily use them or can fire up um, my ultrabook for an additional four or five hours right if I have like two or three layers of this Another interesting idea, especially when we're talking about this variable technology, about batteries in clothing, what about the safety issues? I mean, if this is getting kind of penetrated or cut or whatever, um, are we going to see some leakage? Uh, am I going to burn my skin or whatever? That's where their technology kicks in again. Now look at this, what I'm gonna show you right now. I think that's absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna switch this one on here, yeah? And here we go. And it's still working. And it's still working. How about just getting a hole in there? I hope I'm not killing myself here. Here we go, look at this. Right, you can even penetrate it and the cell is still working. So this just gives you an idea of what these guys at Prologium here in Taiwan, in Taipei, are capable of doing. And just let your imagination go 
what future devices, what future designs we're going to see with this. You know, just say goodbye to these boring lithium iron and lithium polymer batteries that are coming always in the same shape, that are heavy, that are thick, and that are definitely not safe enough to use them for future smartware and wearable technology. The contextual age is starting, and I'm pretty sure the Prologium is capable of powering it. I'm Sascha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.